How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video, I'm back with another full body workout. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. All right, thanks a lot. So I just wanted to share the workout I'm doing today. It's pretty simple, it's gonna be five moves. Each move, I'm gonna go to about 90% of failure, so maybe like one, one rep short of failure. Then it's gonna be about a 20 second rest before moving on to the next move. I'm gonna show you one round, but what you could do is do two, three, however many rounds you want, two or three rounds of this. Um, I'm gonna probably do three rounds. So uh, here it is, it's gonna be a full body workout. We're gonna start with a pull move, we're gonna do a push move, we're gonna do a leg move and some core moves as well. So we hit everything up in this workout. So try it out, let me know in the comments what you think about it, and make sure you give a thumbs up if you like the video. Let's get going. Also, before we start, make sure you do a warm up. So I just did a warm up, and now I'm gonna start the workout. And after the workout, make sure you cool down and you stretch out as well, so you don't get injured. All right, so I started this workout off with some L pull-ups. And this is where you put your body in an L shape and you do pull-ups. Now, if this is too difficult, you could always start out with regular pull-ups. And if that's too difficult, you could start out with assisted pull-ups, where you get some sort of an assist band or some sort of machine that you can stand on and do pull-ups. So I pretty much always include some sort of pull-up move with my workouts. I think they're a really important uh, exercise. And I think it's really important to do them and build your way up. If you can't do pull-ups yet, don't get discouraged. Just start out, like I said, with the assist. All right, so after the pull-ups, I did these, these shoulder tapping push-ups. It's basically a push-up, tap each so shoulder, and go down for another push-up. So this is great for the core as well as the upper body. And if these are too difficult for you, you can start out with doing them on your knees. Again, if you can't do push-ups, just start with something. Start with them on your knees. After a while, I just started doing a push-up, tap, push-up, tap. So great core movement. This will help get you ripped. I love push-ups. That's another exercise that I pretty much do. Anytime I do strength training, I always want to include some sort of a push-up. So there's a lot of different versions. This is one of them I hadn't done in a while. And there it is. So that was my second, was the second move is push-ups. And then once I get tired of these, I'm going to give about a 20 second break, which I don't show the break on the video, but you definitely want to give a little break in between each move so you can recover and that way you're strong for the next move. So next is going to be a leg movement. And these are just some lunges, lots of different lunges available. Um, these are the ones I want to do today. So I got a decently heavy weight. That way I made it hard for myself and or made it challenging at least and doing these set of lunges now if you're just starting out and it's too hard to use weights just do them do these lunges without any weight in your hand after you get stronger at doing lunges you could add weight as you lose weight if you're you know if you're overweight and you have a lot of weight to lose you may not need to use any weights on this now i did um, some lunges for a while then i want to do some squats so it's sort of a lunge squat combination And again, as you get stronger, you can add more weight to this routine. So several lunges and squats. And then when we're done with the lunges and squats, we're going to move on to a couple different core moves. Now, these are called windshield wipers. This is a little more of an advanced move. Now, if you can't do these hanging on a pull-up bar, what you can do is you can lay on your back and do these. Okay? So, see, so you, you know, just depending on where you're at, strength wise, you can always lay on your back and do these. Now, if you're going to do these laying on your back, you want to go slow when you do them and build your way up to the pull up bar. Then, last, we're doing a set of mountain climbers. So, these are again great for your core, great for your upper body. It's going to help get you ripped. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Go ahead and repeat this round, this, uh, workout routine for two or three rounds if you'd like and let me know what you think and we'll be back soon with another video bye bye